Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create your own network attached storage NAS using free NAS. I'll be showing you how to do this on a virtual machine, but you can do this on an old PC you have laying around there. First, download Oracle VirtualBox. The link is in the description box below. You can download the appropriate one for you depending on which operating system you're using. And free NAS, the link is also in the description box below. Once there, click on download, enter your email, and send me to FreeNAS download page. Click that. Scroll down a little bit, and I'll be using FreeNAS 921 32 bit ISO. You can download the 64 if you wish by clicking on the download blue button here save it perfect I have already downloaded free NAS 921 32 bit ISO and download and install Oracle VirtualBox now if you want to do this on a PC all you need to do is once you download the ISO just right click it burn disk image to create a disk out of this ISO if you're using Windows 7 or Windows 8 just click on burn and place that CD on the computer's disk drive and boot from that disk and it'll be the exact same process so going back to my tutorial here run Oracle VirtualBox and here click on new and now name your virtual machine I'll name it free NAS and under version here you can select other windows and manually configure the RAM etc but I'll select Windows 8 it'll automatically set my uh, RAM to 1 gig so click on next create a virtual hard drive now create virtual disk image next dynamically allocated now here you can click on create if you wish but I have a, uh, a specific location to store my drive now it's gonna be 25 gig this is gonna be the OS uh, hard drive so I just click on create remember this 25 gigs is just for my OS now let's create storage hard drives so click on settings storage select controller SATA click on the hard drive plus icon create a new disk VDI next dynamically allocated and I have a specific location here to store my drive and these drives are gonna be 100 gig you can select 1000 gig 2000 gigs you can make it as big as you wish perfect I have a, a, I store that on the server so I'll click on create and then do the same process for all three hard drives so I'm here at the the last one make this a hundred gigs again this is the last one and create as you can see I have three hard drive which I'm gonna use for storage okay all of them are the same size a hundred gig you, remember you can make it as big as you want now again go to settings storage and here under controller IDE select the empty disk we're gonna be using the ISO here so click on the disk icon choose a virtual CD DVD and browse for that uh, ISO that we downloaded select it and click on open now let's go to network options here and let's bridge the uh, network adapter and click on OK now we're ready to install our free NAS so click on start it'll automatically boot from the virtual disk and here using the arrow keys on your keyboard select install the number one press enter OK and now 
which drive you're gonna do we're gonna use so make sure you select the 25 gig leaving the rest for storage so select it and press enter okay and then press enter to confirm okay it installed so now press enter to and then shut down using the arrow keys once shut down make sure you select the free NAS again settings storage and we need to remove this uh, ISO so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a, a an empty uh, disk and remove the free NAS by selecting it and clicking on the minus symbol okay and now again let's go ahead and start our free NAS now it's uh, booting up once it finished booting up it'll give me the IP address if it doesn't give you the IP address make sure you restart or configure it manually by pr selecting option 1 here I got the 10.0.0.14 I'll open the uh, Windows Explorer. I'll enter the HTTP colon and the IP address. Press enter. And now enter a new uh, password for the root. Keep that in mind, it's the root password. Go ahead and log in. And done. We have installed our uh, virtual free NAS. Now let's go ahead and configure a basic uh, share in our network so expand storage volumes volume manager here name your volume I'll just name this avoid errors now you can drag this depending on how many hard drive you have to the right for example if I select one it'll create a stripe uh, if I select two it'll create a mirror and if I select all three drives, it'll automatically add a RAID configuration to my drives. Once you're done, click on Add Volume. Remember, you can choose whichever uh, how, as many volumes as you wish. If you have one, just select one. Okay, now once you're done, it'll create this uh, new volume. Avoid error. Go ahead and expand it. Select Change Permissions. And here under mode, select select write for group and write for other. Change. Remember, these are just default configuration. You can mess around with it uh, once you have it installed. Now expand sharing. And since I have a Windows network, expand Windows and then add a new Windows share. Here, name your Windows share. I'll name this free NAS. And then browse the path here I'll just browse for the avoid errors uh, volume we created selected and that's it from here all you need to do here is click on OK click yes to enable this service and done perfect now our volume is shared which is great plus you can uh, manage your services now if we go to network we will see our free NAS and the volume being shared just double click it'll prompt you for username and password remember to use the root username and password if it doesn't work just go back to free NAS select account view users double click on the root and here change the password and click on OK. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you.